Good morning. <laughs> Amelia, good morning. Hey, it's fun. That little hand. You trying to take mama's food? You trying to take mama's food? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try? A oh, grape. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> yeah, baby. One more month and she'll be able to start eating salad. Right. Just put Amelia down for her first nap of the day. And I was able to take a shower and now I am going to quickly just get ready for the day. Um, just gonna do like a little bit of makeup since I told you guys I have been intentionally trying to take five ten minutes every morning to put myself together i know it's so hard to kind of like get busy or always be on the go especially if you have kids it's always go 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 in my house and if i literally don't stop whatever i'm doing and make the time to get ready and put on a little bit of makeup brush my hair I can go all day without doing it so we're putting everything on hold for a second and um, we're gonna quickly just get a little bit ready for the day tomorrow we have school orientation for Charlie and Vincent I want to take Charlie um, so he can like see where his classroom is since he is going to be starting kindergarten I want him to like know where kind of get familiar with the school um stop by say hi to the teacher also drop off all the school supplies and then also vincent um you know take him even though vincent is already going in the third grade um but still i'll have to bring all four kids with me because my husband is going on a work trip so he'll be gone all day tomorrow um so that should be fun hopefully it won't be like too long of a process but um i also want to you guys i've been meaning to organize kids clothes i need to like get their clothes ready for school season um i really really need to um go through amelia's clothes because she has ton of little clothes that no longer like fit her so i need to update her little dresser i really want to finish up the girls room um just move things around move their furniture around and just 
finish that as well so we have quite a bit to do today um so that is the plan but i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready even though i feel like just do like a little bit of foundation a little bit of um contour and then we'll just brush our brows i tinted my brows like the other day so i don't have to fill them in and then i also have lash extensions you guys i use these little lash extensions you don't need glue with these they're so quick to do and you guys like they last me for a week so quick five minute makeup is all done and now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our chores so this morning i fed my sourdough and if you can tell it doubled in size which is really good because now i can go ahead and do my sourdough bread mixture which i'll show you guys how i do that but i haven't baked my bread and maybe over a month and i missed it and i'm ready to get back in, back into it so, so yesterday i pulled my sourdough starter from the fridge i let it sit all day and then this morning i fed it and as you can see it's reactivated so i'm gonna go ahead and do my sourdough bread mixture in here and then by tomorrow i'll be ready to bake and we'll have fresh bread so, this is the flour that I used to bake my bread and I forgot the measurement so I'm gonna have to pull out the recipe but I think it's six cups of flour. Okay so I'll post the exact sourdough recipe that I follow down below for you guys just in case any of you want the recipe but um it's super easy to make first i was so scared to even have anything to do with sourdough bread it just looks so hard and complicated but once you get started and figure it out it honestly is so easy like so so easy and now i just have the water and the salt so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix just so the salt um dissolves and after that i'm gonna go ahead and pour my sourdough starter and you just need like two thirds of this. So let's see. Um, see how bubbly it is? That's where you want it to be. I hear Amelia waking up. Okay, so have just enough. So I have two thirds of sourdough starter, and I'm gonna go ahead dump that into the water and te technically the sourdough starter should float in the water and that is how you know if um your sourdough starter is good and mine is floating let me show you guys so it passed the flow test if you can tell it's like on top so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a good mix for a couple minutes until it all dissolves in the water and then i'm gonna go ahead and refeed my sourdough starter as you can tell there's like barely anything left but that is all you need to keep the sourdough starter going so um in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and feed it but for now just let it sit there um so i'm gonna go ahead mix this for a couple minutes and then i'm gonna go ahead and add the flour and i'll show you guys what it looks like this is what the sourdough looks like once i mixed everything together and now i'm gonna go ahead and use this like shower cap to cover the dough and then throughout the day i'm gonna open this up and do stretch and fold and i'll show you guys what that looks like i'm gonna go ahead and feed my starter again so this is how much i have left after i did the recipe and honestly you do not need a lot at all you just need the tiniest amount to reactivate it again um so you can do two things you can go ahead feed the starter and then if you don't want to bake anymore you can go ahead feed the starter close the lid and put it in the fridge and have it sitting there until you're ready to take it out again or you can go ahead feed the starter and just cover the lid and let it sit on the countertop and it will double in size again and you can go ahead and make um, another loaf if you want so that is what i'm gonna do and i just use like regular flour for my starter um 
same brand but um it's just like a all-purpose flower so i'm gonna do my first stretch and fold it's been about like 30 minutes and i'll show you guys how i stretch and fold but first i like to wet my hand so it's like nice and wet and then i just go ahead and kind of like lift the dough pull it and fold it like that and i'm gonna do that to all the sides um and you basically like pull it's kind of hard to do with one hand but just basically pull as high as you can and then fold you want to pull as high as you can until it's almost like you feel like it's gonna rip and then you just like fold it like that so i do that about four times every 30 minutes so there you go super easy and then i cover it up again and let it sit for another 30 minutes